This is a selection from Gigi's Bedtime Bible Stories, Abraham and Baby Isaac. A long time after Noah, there was a man named Abram. He grew up in a place called Ur, which is in Chaldea, and then lived in Haran. He and his wife Sarai lived there happily. They were old and had a lot to be thankful for. The Lord came and spoke to Abram. God said, Abram, I have chosen you to become a great nation. I would like you, your wife, and your household to leave your home and follow me. Abram said, yes, Lord, I will do that. So they packed up and they moved to places in Canaan that they'd never been before. The animals in their flocks grew strong and multiplied. Then they were waiting and waiting for God to tell them what to do next. After a while, God came to Abram. The Lord said, Abram, I'm changing your name to Abraham because you are going to be the father of my special people. You are going to have children, grandchildren, and many great-grandchildren. I'm changing Sarai's name to Sarah because it means princess. God made a covenant or a promise with Abraham. He was going to be the father of many, many people, as many as the stars in the sky. Also, God said that he's going to give these special people a land of their own. Abraham and Sarah believed God. Sarah had never had a baby, even though she was very old. They had waited a long time, years and years, for God to give them a baby. Guess what? God came and told Abraham that it was going to happen. His wife, Sarah, would finally have a baby. Not too far away, Sarah was listening. When she heard God say that, she laughed. She thought, oh my goodness, how can I have a baby now that I'm really old? But God told the truth, and in a few months, Sarah had a baby boy. They called him Isaac. That was a miracle, because Abraham was almost 100 years old, and Sarah was also very old. From Isaac came all the people that later we'll learn about who are called the Jews or Israelites. Today, there are still Jews, God's special people, who came from Abraham through Isaac. God made a covenant with Abraham and Sarah. He kept that promise, the miracle baby Isaac. When God makes a promise, he keeps it.